Welcome back to our study in 1 John 5, 1 through 5. This is called Faith is the Victory. This is part two. And we're going to be looking at victory begins with regeneration. And it's really verse one is what we're going to focus in on today. In this sentence, John uses a form of the same word three times. It is the word genao, which means to beget, to bring forth or produce offspring. Our English word generate comes from this Greek word. In theology, we use the word regeneration. Regeneration means that we are born of God. The reason why we have the prefix re on there is that we're talking about being born again, as Jesus talks about in John chapter 3, where he says, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. All humans are generated or born in the flesh, but not all humans are born of God, which is the second birth or rebirth when you're born spiritually. Jesus said that which is born of flesh is flesh, and that's that which is born of spirit, of the spirit, is spirit. And so being born of God means that you have been born spiritually by the work of the Holy Spirit. Jesus compared this regenerating work of the Holy Spirit with the wind. He said, the wind blows where it wishes, and you hear its sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. You can't control the wind, and you recognize its effects, but we can't see the wind when it comes and goes. We don't see the wind, we just see the effects of the wind. We don't see the atmosphere, atmospheric pressure changing and causing the wind to to come up we don't see any of that but we do see the effects of things blowing around we feel the effects on us and so we know the wind is blowing regeneration is the same thing when the holy spirit comes upon a person we can't see the holy spirit we're not telling the holy spirit what to do we're not inviting the holy spirit to do anything the holy spirit does what he does he's not uh just a responder he's not just always responding to whatever we do what we're what we're doing I don't, so we need to remember that when he's regenerating someone, it's not because he's like, oh, look at this person wants to be regenerated. No one wants to be regenerated. He does that. So when the Holy Spirit comes upon a person, we can't see him. We don't see him really causing the spiritual birth of a person either. But we can see the effects of that, definitely. We should see the effects. And that's what John's really been arguing throughout this whole letter, is that if the Holy Spirit is a pond person or in someone, then you will see the effects. Because if the Holy Spirit is there, he causes things to happen. He doesn't just show up and nothing happens. If he's there, things are changing, things are happening, people are being made new. That's what happens. And so when the, this regeneration happens, then people choose to follow Christ. They they love the Lord. They they believe, like the next part of his uh, statement here. A person who has been born of God believes that Jesus is the Christ. This is a person who's been born of God. They're born, and then they believe that Jesus is the Christ. There's a reason why it's in that order. So one of the signs that a person has been born of God is that they have the gift of faith. And this is not a generic faith in the existence of God or even in Jesus. John says that a person born of God will believe that Jesus is Christ. The Greek word Christ is the New Testament, in the New Testament, is the equivalent to Messiah in the Hebrew Old Testament. So every time you say Jesus Christ, you're saying Jesus is the Messiah that was spoken of and prophesied in the Old Testament. From Genesis to Malachi, the Messiah, the anointed one, the promised one, the suffering servant, is revealed. Beginning with the promise that one would come to crush the serpent's head that was given to our first parents all the way at the beginning, to John the Baptist crying out in the desert, the Lord's anointed God, Lord's anointed, God explained who the Messiah would be. Those who were born of God before the arrival of the Messiah, they had the gift of faith which caused them to trust in the coming Messiah. So people like Abraham believed in the coming Messiah. That he was going to come and rescue them and he would provide the propitiation for their sin so he had the gift of faith in order to believe in that for those of us who live on this side of the coming of christ we trust in the finished work of the messiah and his eventual return to bring all things to 
uh, to its completion on this earth. So believing in Jesus as the Christ means that we trust in Jesus, that he is God's anointed and fulfillment of all that was spoken of about him. He is the great high priest who showed us who God is. He, um, he is the great, you know, he is the great prophet. He is the great prophet who showed us who God is, and he's the great priest who offered himself as a sacrifice uh, for the forgiveness of sins. He's also the great king who rules with all authority. Jesus is the Christ, and so that's what people believe. If they're born again, that's what they will believe. That's what they know, that Jesus is the Messiah. And so if you believe that Jesus is the Messiah, you truly do believe that, then that's one of the signs that you have been born again. You don't believe Jesus is Messiah, and then you get born again. It's, you get born again, and then you believe Jesus is the Messiah. So all those that are born of God also love the Father. This is one of the uses of ganao here. The word for father is not the usual word, but a form of the word to beget. In the NASB translation, it has the note, uh, the one who has fathered. It's, it's a little clumsy in English, but it's important to see the connection. Those who have been born of God love the one that fathered them. Or those that are regenerated by God love the one whom they were regenerated by. The work of making you born again produces the love of God in your heart. You don't love God first and then, and then he chooses to regenerate you. You have to be regenerated first and then you love God. So the work of making you born again produces that love in your heart. If a person finds themselves without the love of God in their heart, then they're not born of him. They have never been regenerated. So those that are born of God believe in Jesus as the Christ, and they love the Father. The third thing that happens in someone that's born again is that they love those that are born of God, or those that are regenerated, his children. They have been adopted by the Father just like us. We belong to the same household. We're in the same family, and we all have Jesus as our brother. We are all being conformed into the likeness of Jesus. And so we are all growing into the same family likeness. And one day we'll all be together in the place where Jesus has prepared for us. So a person born of God believes Jesus is the Christ, loves the Father, and loves the Father's children. That's what happens. So come back next time. We'll take a look at how victory looks like obedience and faith.